Welcome back to another segment of The MCR, Mac and Me. My name's TJ, and in this segment, uh, we're going to throw out our two cents on the movie Civil War. It just came out a week or so ago, uh, and if you watch very many YouTube videos, uh, all the, all, everyone's got an opinion. Everyone's got thoughts about the movie. Uh, I would say, on average... It gets more thumbs up than thumbs down. I wouldn't call it a an A movie. I'd, me personally, and I'll let Mac chime in here, but uh, I would give it like a a solid B, maybe. You know, I, I you liked it more than I did. Uh, perhaps we had different expectations. Mine are based on the title of the movie, which indicated it was going to be about a civil war. It wasn't, and I would tell you at the end of the movie, all I could think about was, uh, can I get my fourteen dollars back? <laughs> well, well, here, here's something funny. Uh, I when I went because it's been years since I've been to a movie. Okay, so I I, I did the full spiel. I got uh, I got a, a large Coke and a small popcorn, and my large Coke and small popcorn cost more than the than the ticket to get in. Oh, I can believe you that. Know? <laughs> I think the last time you went, they were called flicker shows. Okay, all right. Oh, and I, I did not go to the. Uh, matinee showing either i don't even know if they still do the matinee where they caught where they charge maybe two-thirds or half price or something they, i don't know they do in brighton okay because I, I some theaters the very first show you can get in at a reduced cost anyway as we digress uh the the movie the movie um uh, well it's it's about a civil war movie it through through narration and uh, character dialogue, you discover that uh, uh, the president's in his third term, uh, and that he disbanded the FBI. And I don't know if that was a, a, a backhanded swipe at uh, at uh, Trump or what, but uh, you know, disbanding the FBI, I wouldn't say it was necessarily a bad idea. But uh, you it's know, corrupt to its core. Why would be getting rid of anything that's corrupt? Be a bad thing. Yeah, but but you know, it, the, the thought was, oh, he, he violated the Constitution by taking a, a getting a, a third term in office, and and then he disbanded the FBI, and ooh, bad. Well, bad I, president. I thought that was a veiled swipe at uh, President Trump as well, because the left would have you believe that that he's going to get elected and never leave office for the rest of his life. Yep. Which is, uh, first off, he's already left office once after an election, so mm -hmm. this is nonsense. Yeah, uh, the, the movie makes reference to basically four groups. I'll just run down them real quick. You have the loyalist states, which uh, base I would tell you, I would describe the loyalist states as the New New England area, the Rust Belt, kind of uh, Midwestern and, and some of the Western states. I wouldn't say West Coast, but, uh, you know, uh, so so those were the loyalist states that were still loyal to the to the United States, as we would think of it, okay? Then you had the Florida Alliance, which was Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi. I think it might've been included Georgia. And and there was, a, there was some uh, dialogue about how they couldn't uh, uh, get aligned with the Carolinas or something, or yeah, the North and South Carolina. But uh, so you had the Florida Alliance, and then you had uh, what, uh, states that were referred to as Western forces, and those were in the Northwest and the Upper Midwest. Uh, and when I say that, I'm thinking in terms of Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, those states, okay? Uh, right. And then final, the, the main one that the movie kind of keyed on was uh, kind of a coalition which, uh, you know, and I know Mac's going to have some thoughts on this, but there was a coalition of... Uh, they called it the Republic of California and the Second Republic of Texas. And, and the reason why they said, I think the reason why they said Second Republic was because if you remember, uh, I want to say a couple of years, two, three years before Texas joined the Union, they, in fact, were their own country. So, right. you know, First Republic at that time. And so now that they seceded, uh, well, it's the Second Republic of Texas, to, right. you know. And this is where this is where I had trouble buying it was uh, 
of states like California and Texas aligning against a corrupt government. And Mac, your thoughts? Because there's no way I bought well, into that. I, I thought there were several portions of the movie that were uh, you had to suspend disbelief because they were so fanciful. And Texas and, and California being on the same side of anything is fanciful to me. Okay. Uh, you know, and, you know, so the movie's called Civil War, but, it, you know, what it could have it could have been Road Trip, you know. Or Snapshot or Freeze Frame or a, a picture of this. It could have been called well, anything but Civil War and been more accurate, I believe. Yeah. The, the plot centers on, uh, you know, four journalists, an old timer who has seen his better days, uh, uh, a very young girl who is, you know, she worships uh, the Kristen, Kirsten Dunst character. OK, uh, then you had uh, some some press guy, too. But, the you know, I thought about this afterwards. I, you may not know of this guy, Mac. But I thought, what are they trying to make Kirsten Dunst look like? A female version of Sebastian Younger? Do, have you ever heard of Sebastian Younger? Yeah. Okay. Well, not. if you were if you were into journalism and uh, uh, war correspondence and that, he's a fairly popular war correspondent and spent 15 months in Afghanistan with frontline troops in uh, uh all those uh, very hazardous command outposts, uh, he, he's, he's been fired at just by being in close proximity with troops. And, and he, even he himself feels that, like, like, a, like a soldier, uh, is, you know, he's plagued by, uh, uh, oh, heck, the word escapes him right now, uh, post-traumatic syndrome, okay? Yeah. He, he feels just, just like soldiers, uh, I, heck, he almost got his head shot off in one of those command outposts. I'm saying all that. I got the feeling. I said, "Man, they're trying to make her sound like a a female version of this guy." You yeah, know? she's supposed to. The, the premise is she's she's supposed to be a famous photojournalist. Yeah, and and she's seen all these uh, war atrocities throughout the world. You know, blah blah blah. You know, so you know they go on this road trip and they've got a. Because they can't go directly from New York City down to D.C., they got to do a, a loop-de-loop uh, west into Pennsylvania, then circle around south and then come back east to D.C. Because uh, I guess because of all the fighting or something, which which you, you don't until the end, you don't really see a whole lot of fighting. You, you do see acts of violence. But uh, I would tell you the combat scenes late in the movie, I thought were pretty decent. It, it, it piqued my interest. Otherwise... I may have been asleep. Yeah, I, I, I too. But well, we're getting ahead of ourselves. But uh, on their road trip, and I, 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 I took some notes here. What do they come across? A gas station owner who appears to be price gouging. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and of course they're not going to accept uh, U.S. currency. They're only going to accept Canadian currency. Okay, and. Uh, uh, and during the course of this uh, stop at this gas station, uh, they find out that two guys are strung up. They're being tortured. They're still alive for allegedly looting. And and I, they didn't say. And 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 this is something the movie does is they they keep things very vague. Okay, uh, but I had to wonder if maybe because of their price gouging, might these guys have just been trying to get something to eat? You know? Yeah, you, you don't know. All the, uh, the one thing that jumped out at me in that scene is that the guy who was doing the torture of these alleged looters uh, was uh, wearing a crucifix and a religious medal that a Catholic might wear. Well, and I thought that was a little swipe at Christians. Well, you know, and you know what? The, it's like you got little swipes at a, at a lot of people throughout this movie. You know, they 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 proceed to, and you know, on their road trip, and, and I'm going to get, might get some of this out of order, but they come across uh, a scene where uh, guys that are dressed like Boogaloo boys, and if you wonder, you know, if you recall, the Boogaloo boys wore those uh, uh, colorful Hawaiian-looking shirts, okay, and and these guys are, are loaded for a bear, and they're engaging uh, an unidentified military unit. Uh, they eventually do win, and and they they capture like uh, they basically exec, end up executing a total of four 
soldiers. One was still within the building. The other three kind of surrendered. They took them outside and gunned them down, yeah. you know? Uh, so, so, you know, they continue their road trip. Then they end up at a place I, I'll sarcastic re, sarcastically refer to as Mayberry RFD. You know what I'm talking about, right, Mac? Yeah, where the, the and this is the, another fanciful part of the movie. There are people who are just well, they're just not going to participate in the Civil War, and they're going to go on as if life were perfectly normal. Well, but the interesting thing is, they had guys uh, up on the roof, right. as if don't mess with us. Yeah, we're just mess to, with us. We're just sitting this one out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. At least as if that go, would be an option. Leave us alone and just go away. It, it's kind of what was, un, it was unspoken but conveyed. We'll say, right. you know, uh, and then they continue down the road and and they they come up to a a, a goofy looking piece of property where there's an off in the distance a mansion you know the one with all the christmas decorations that looked right. out of place and what do they see they see a dead soldier laying in the street and they're wondering what to do and then all of a sudden uh, uh a shot is you know uh, a sniper takes a shot at them hits their windshield so so now you know well those must be that must be a bad person in that house as they get to cover they come across a some weird looking uh, sniper team with multicolored hair. And I don't know what the multicolored hair was all about. Yeah. I'm not quite sure who they were supposed to be in you know, the grand scenario. You know what? And they didn't know who they were supposed to be either. Cause they even said, who, who, who are you with? And, and they, they might as well said we're, we're by ourselves and we're, you know, he says, we're killing someone who's trying to kill us, right. you know? And, uh, it, it, and I, I lit up in the movie. It appeared they were they successfully in, engaged the sniper, and uh, so then the correspondents were able to go their merry way until they get to the uh, white supremacist group. You know, right? Uh, the guy he's in fatigues with the uh, red sunglasses, which made no sense to me. Oh, that, yeah, I, those were cute. Yeah, yeah, really. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I don't know if they were you know, in the movie, uh, supposed to be rogue soldiers from whatever unit I think I saw, and, and I would have to watch it on video and freeze frame it. But I think I saw the guy with rose colored glasses. It appeared on his left chest. He may have had a combat infantryman's badge, which would indicate if that was truly his combat infantry badge that he had seen action somewhere. Right. Okay. So, but, but whether or not that was even his uniform, you know, you never know because things were kept, details were kept so vague throughout the movie. You were kind of guessing and putting two to two together. Oh, these guys must be this or that or whatever. Right. You know, uh, you know, eventually they end up at, uh, well, the old man gets killed, but you know, uh, they end up at some kind of, a bivouac area for for a military outpost and and mac you 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 probably didn't catch this though i did did you see what was on the front of the helicopters uh, i did not catch it it had it had uh, the uh, emblem i'll call it the patch of the air cab out of four oh, no, I, did, I didn't see that yeah, yeah uh, that was that. that was the cavalry unit out of fort hood texas which would make sense, you know, if Texas and California are moving on D.C., uh, troops out of Fort Hood. I, here's the thing. Are they going to listen to the governor or what? Because that's federal, you know, but everything's vague. Everything's vague. You're, you oh, know what? Yeah. The only reason, the only way you know any who anybody is, is that they did have uh, a WF on their on their stuff. Yeah. Uh, and and flag, it's, you know, a U.S. flag with two stars. Yeah. Uh but uh, yeah, I, I definitely caught the uh, the ca cav uh, uh, the cavalry patch uh, on, on the helicopters. Okay, uh, so it, they eventually get it to DC, and that's where you talk about some intense fighting scenes. Oh my goodness! And you know, I'm not a Navy SEAL. I'm not a SWAT guy. I, the weaponry and tactics looked adequate for for my viewing. 
You know, I mean, well, you it know, didn't some, look pokey. That's for sure. That, that's right. Because sometimes you watch an action flick and you're thinking, man, I could have showed them how to do that better. You right. know, and 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 these 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 guys, I'd say they looked pretty good. I'd say they looked pretty good. But, uh, you know, here's where I got a little unsettled. OK, me being ex-military. I did not like the site or the scene or even the plot or whatever, however you want to describe it. I did not like watching U.S. soldiers kill U.S. soldiers. That that unsettled me. That, I would tell you, it saddened me. More than unsettled me, it kind of saddened me. Well, it, you has, know? Happened, it has happened before. It just, uh, it just... For real. I just... Uh, I, I just... I didn't like it. Okay. And, uh, and we'll, you know, I, and we're going to throw out a spoiler here. Uh, the, uh, the, the coalition forces of California and Texas successfully breached the white house and killed the president. And then the movie, who, by the way, who, by the way, is not in the secure bunker where they couldn't get to him, but he's under the resolute desk hiding. Yeah. Uh, and upon his execution, the movie literally ends. Right. I mean, it ends. You talk about being left hanging, okay? Uh, and, and and I got some thoughts as to if a country went through all that and then you're left hanging to guess what happens next, you know? Uh, there's if if some if something like this really happened, there's no putting the country back together. No, in fact, historically, you'll find out it, you, what you what you usually end up with is is a different dictator. Yeah, yeah. Your dictator uh, instead of their dictator. Yeah, and you know, because because there's reference to how Florida, the Florida Alliance, uh, you know, they tried to contribute to the cause, but for whatever reason, had their difficulties. They the Florida Alliance wasn't necessarily competing against. Uh, the Texas and California alliance, uh, you know, it, it was it was hinted that perhaps they were going to assist each other. But then they they said, well, the Florida alliance just can't seem to get it together, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm thinking. At the end of the day. You you had you had such a chaotic uh, mess of. People killing people and, and you and you were kind of guessing the why, you know, other than. Uh, a complete breakdown of society, you know? Yeah, well, close to that. Uh, one, one, one final thought on this, and you kind of mentioned to it, you know, and, and, I, and I think of revolutions or civil wars in the past in history, and, and a couple of them jumped right out at me, you know, and, and I'm going to mention the French Revolution, which occurred uh, a few years after the uh, United States, uh, a war of independence, you know, American, uh, revolution. Okay. Uh, and in the French revolution, you had basically had one group of people killing another group of people. And, and as it came to an end, what was France left with Napoleon Bonaparte? Yeah. You know, well, uh, I would tell you the left and the leftist media uh, is not far from saying about the rest of us, the flyovers, let them eat cake. Yeah, yeah, uh, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mention another revolution that had a horrific ending: the Bolshevik Revolution. Okay, that revolution. And what 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 did what did the world end up then? Communism worldwide, you know. And uh, so I, I guess, and the reason why I'm throwing that out there is the way the movie ends and just leaves you hanging. Historically speaking, you can only think of highly probable a scenario of that type would most likely play well, out. Well, I, I would tell you that uh, I thought it was poorly named. It wasn't about a civil war. The civil war was just a, at best a backdrop. I thought it was about four journalists and how basically war is hell and killing people is bad, which is, of course I agree with. But uh, that's that's what I thought the movie was. I, I would not give it a, a, such as yourself, I wouldn't give it a B. I would I wouldn't have called it civil war. I would have called it shit. <laughs> you, you could maybe uh, road trip meets uh, Walking Dead or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. That, that'd be more apt. So, uh, 
Uh, That's that's our thoughts, Uh, you know, uh, and if if you want to pay more for a Coke and popcorn than your movie ticket, by all means, go see it. But uh, uh, or wait till it comes out uh, on video. And here's the thing. A lot of times when it comes out on demand, they're going to charge you 20 bucks to watch it until that drops to five or six dollars. You know? well, there will be someone in the comment section and probably Gab or MeWe who says uh, we're not real Americans because they don't they don't go and watch movies made by Hollywood. Well, uh, and anyways, that that's our thoughts. Uh, so uh, by all means, uh, feel free to critique us. All right. Yeah. So I guess that's it for this one. This is a lengthy one. So thanks to everyone who hung tough and. Uh, watched the entire video and uh, we'll catch you on our next one. As always, be safe, watch your six and don't tread on me.